this is ground up calendula, which is actually the marigold flower. And I'm here with Anna at the Merce Apothecary, which is actually the oldest pharmacy in the city of Chicago. Now they've been around since 1875 and they're still making their very own teas from over a hundred herbs, just like they did 133 years ago. Today, the MERS Apothecary is serving Chicagoans much like it did back in 1875. The apothecary opened in the late 19th century by a Swiss pharmacist named Peter MERS on Chicago's north side. Through the years, three generations of the MERS family focused on herbal medicines and traditional formulas, even as modern medicine was introduced. Abdul Quinn bought the business from the MERS family in the 1970s. His son Anthony now runs the shop. This particular pharmacy, um, you know, it had a niche that was uh, very unusual in the sense that we mixed a lot of teas by hand, we had a lot of knowledge of European herbs, and then bath and body care products that you couldn't find in the United States. And so it just managed to survive and thrive as the rest of the independent pharmacies, most independent pharmacies in the country have died out. Today, the apothecary packs 12,000 products from 30 different countries into a small Lincoln Square store just a few miles away from its original location at Lincoln and Diversity. The unique selection and well-educated staff attracts a melting pot of customers, from descendants of the original European shoppers to anyone just wanting to browse through this little shop of wonders. There's like a family atmosphere. We're still a family business and I think that we have that maybe a more intimate family connection than you get in most stores, even small stores. So just what are people buying? There are herbs and teas, essential oils, candles, aromatherapy, men's and women's beauty and bath products. There's also the latest in natural health care, like the neti pot used for sinuses, homeopathy for your pets, and candles that clean out your ears. The store boasts the largest collection of natural and luxury soaps from around the world, and it's also got the largest stash of toothpaste. Talk about making oral hygiene more fun. How about brushing with a Pakistani toothpaste? Or choosing from 32 different flavors like green apple and white peach from a Japanese line. You can also clean those pearly whites with a toothpaste that claims to be the first in the world, originally made for Louis XV of France. And if you're interested in items used by the historically famous, you can find the same soaps and fragrances used by the Medici family. Uh, it's a very popular and very exclusive line. It's like not everyone knows about it, but those who do, uh, they tend to buy, uh, you know, load up whenever they see it because it's not, it's not found everywhere. Although it's not a large part of the business, they're still filling prescriptions with pharmacists on hand who are ready to answer any questions, just like they did in the old times. A lot of our customers who are regular customers and probably have even been shopping with us for years, some of them still don't know that we're a pharmacy um, just because of the nature of our business and being more naturally focused and personal care focused. But that said, we're very proud to be a, you know, the oldest pharmacy in Chicago and one of the oldest in the United States, certainly. So with all of these products around, the fact that the MERS Apothecary is Chicago's oldest pharmacy may be one of Chicago's best kept secrets. There aren't too many places you can go and sort of have a useful, hope, you know, hopefully very uh, beneficial visit as far as your health and body are concerned, but also sort of participate in what is a living piece of history. It's not, it's not in a museum. You're not looking at what once existed in Chicago. It's still used, you know, and maybe we don't use every jar that we once used, but we, the tradition has continued unbroken uh, since 1875, and that's a pretty, uh, you know, I, we like to think of it as something special.